Hey scrappy people, it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a fun tutorial on how to make a mini album using a cracker box. I have a graham cracker box here that I have trimmed down. So the first thing I did was I trimmed off, this is a box, right? So it has flaps on the top and flaps on the bottom and then it has another side. So the first thing I did was trim off the one of the sides so that it opens up like a book now. And then I trimmed off the top flaps and the bottom flaps. And then what I had left over was a box that um, has a spine right here and to a front and a back cover. So your box, depending on what you, um, use for this project is going to be different. So what this one ended up being was um, a little bit larger than a five by seven size. So I trimmed down each side to about five inches and then I trimmed down the overall height to about seven and a half inches and that will make it so that I can have um, about a five by seven album inside here with um, enough room on the top and the bottom to, um, you know, not have the pages hang out. I might make it like a 4.75 by um, seven. I'm not sure, I th I'm thinking five by seven will still be fine. It will come to the right to the edge of the album, but I like to have interactive like things sticking out of my albums anyway. So uh, I think that'll work for me. So it's gonna be like a five by seven album in here. And we are going to create a sort of like a traveler's notebook cover for this album. So I'm going to insert elastic um, as holders for signatures for this album. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to cover this album because obviously it's ugly. So the reason that we use a cracker box or cereal box or whatever is that it has nice stiff cardboard edges which makes a good um, base for any album but it's still a little bit flimsy so I'm going to use some nice thick scrapbook paper to cover this so that um, it gets a little bit more um, reinforced. So the full width of this paper or this box is, ooh, it's just over 12 inches. Now, I could cover this with a whole piece of 12 by 12 paper, but I do want it to have some give in the middle. So instead of um, covering it with a whole piece of 12 by 12 paper, I'm gonna piece these together so that, um, so that there is some give on the edges and it's a, it's not too tight of a fold. So I think, let's see, because it's, it's just over 12 inches anyway, so I can't have a whole piece of paper um, that's gonna cover it from edge to edge. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to piece it together. So what I'm going to need then for my specific box is a five inch, two five inch, or three I suppose, or four, <laughs> four, one for the front and the back, four five inch by seven and a half inch pieces of paper for the covers. And then the spine is one, two, two and a half inches. So I need two, two and a half by seven and a half pieces of paper. So I'm going to decide on my paper and cut that down. I decided I'm going to use my Hey Crafty Girl line for Simple Stories. Again, this whole series is about using up your stash. So I'm going to use up some stash here. So let me see, what do I want the cover to be? Okay, nice. So we've got little half cuts here at the top and the bottom and then it's in rainbow order. So then, what's on the other side of this? Make this the spine. Okay, so then we need two five inch pieces. So here's one. 
you can see it covers that perfectly need another one okay <clears throat> I think I actually want this to be the spine though. I don't think I love that. I could do a pink spine, but I don't think I love that either. So I'm gonna save my scraps. Look at how pretty that's gonna be. That might actually be good for the inside too. I'm not sure yet. kind of like that okay how wide does this find it to be two and a half so I'm gonna make it slightly larger because I want it to wrap underneath the underneath the two covers because if I put it on here so that it's underneath the two covers, where'd the other cover go? Oh, there it is. Okay. If I put it on here so it's underneath the two covers, we won't get any of the blue box showing through. So this is three inches and it needs to be two and a half. So we're going to score at... Uh, Okay, we're gonna score at an eighth of an inch in and an eighth of an inch in on either side. Let me get my scoreboard. Okay, so two and a half. So we're gonna, actually we're gonna score in at if it's two and a half, that would be to here. So yeah, we're gonna score in at quarter of an inch in on either side. So now I can put this on here. Once I get it adhered, it will go underneath each side and fold up nicely. And I really like that vertical stripe on that spine. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let me find a paper for the inside or the outside. Still haven't decided. Actually, if I do this on the inside, oh no, it's still too small, but wait, but wait, there's more. If I do this one on the inside, it's actually kind of cute and the spine will be covered up from all the signatures. So it's a little bit too much for me, but if I cut it the way that it is, it'll get covered up. Okay, so now we are ready to cover this. I think this is definitely gonna be the inside. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down my center. So I'm actually going to use my scoring little thing to make sure that this is all stuck down. You can use a bone folder. This thing works just fine though.
Okay, so that is the cover all folded. I'm gonna have to trim this down. So now you just wrap string around each of these or around and around and around until you get enough strings to insert as many of the signatures that you're going to want. Don't pull too tight, but you do want them to be tight enough that they're not going to come apart or they're not going to fall out. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do 15. Ten. Actually, let's do 12. 12 will be a good number. So I have one that ends at the top and one that ends at the bottom. I'll flip it over. <clears throat> and then you just take your string from the right, pull it under, and your string from the left, pull it under, and then you tie a knot or a bow. Now we can slip our signatures in underneath each of these pages. So you just, I'm going to trim some pages up and you just slide it right underneath. And you want a folded page, but see? Okay, so I'm going to cut down some of my pages and they are going to be five and a half, or wait, what is this? I always forget. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Okay. One, two, three, four, five by seven and a half. So I'm gonna make them five by seven and a half. So what you're actually gonna need is 10 by seven and a half. And I did 12 strings, so I need 12 signatures. So I've got everything cut and uh, folded down here. And now I am ready to, oh, sucks. Now I am ready to figure out how I want these <clears throat> in my album. So here we go. So I think I want this one first. Well, actually we need sort of a cover, right? So let's do, let's do a cover first. Something nice and neutral. Let's 
do this light pink. Okay, so light pink first, and then this one. So I'm gonna rotate between colors. I think I'm gonna go in a rainbow order. So I'm gonna start from the middle to make it easy on myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. That makes this the middle. And I'm just gonna slide this right in. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. with lots of room for adding photos and adding layers and lots and lots of stuff to this album. Let's do a little flip through. Oh, I think I did it upside down. <laughs> totally did it upside down. I'm gonna have to restring them, but that's okay. Super easy, fun little project. 